Today we're coming back with part four of the loyalty test series where I, Austin Dunham, DM my subscriber's girlfriends to see if they will stay loyal or will they fold for a guy who has a lot of followers, a blue check mark, and is quite handsome if I do say so myself. So far I've done this series for the past two, three years and each and every time I learn something new and you guys seem to love it too. So stay tuned because this one definitely got a bit juicy. And just a reminder, everybody who sent me their ad did get notified if their girlfriend cheated and did give me permission to use them in the video. Let's get into the first one. All right, so the first girl, I opened her by saying we can hire him for our wedding. So her story, she posted of a guy like DJing. She was at some venue, some club or whatever. And she said, wedding? I said, I made the assumption you were a planner like myself, but we can take things slower. So guys, obviously I'm coming out the gate with high interest, making my intentions clear. Let's see if it works. LOL I am. However, marriage is a little extreme. Then I said, we can start off with the first date. San Fran? because this girl is in San Francisco. She said, hmm, I do live there. Do you? Damn, guys, we got a little bit of intrigue going on right now. So far, we're only three messages in. Keep that in mind. And I said, well, part-time. I visit there for work often, but family is there, headed back for the holidays. See, this is why I love to do the loyalty test near the holidays, near the end of the year, because I can leverage the fact that I'm traveling back to my family to wherever she is located at. Let's see what she says next. Oh, gotcha, where are you the other time? And I said, Orlando, Florida. You been? She said, is that where Disney World is? Yes, it is. I assume you haven't been there if you're asking me that. Haha, ha, I've been, but as a kid. So, so far we're getting good conversation engagement. She's entertaining the conversation. Right now, I have not made the close yet, but here's where everything changes. I said, I'm headed back your way next week. I think we should meet. She heard the message and then said, I could be down, but how did you find my page? So we got a little bit of a shit test going on, all right? She wants to know, how did a guy who has almost 400,000 followers, a blue check mark, all this stuff, find a page like hers? Not a whole lot going on, just an everyday girl. And then of course I said, explore page, turn the could into a will. Don't tell me we could meet, tell me we will meet. She said, oh wow, look at that, oh, well, it was a creative approach. Then I said, what's your number? She sent me the digits. Already we're off to a fail. That's a hard fail for sure. Let's go ahead and get into the next one. Stay tuned guys, because this is gonna get juicy. The next one I said, hey, what's up, hello? With the eye emoji. And she said, ew. And then I said, that's not very nice of you. She said, that's fine. Guys, let's give her a round of applause. Not only was this a pass, but that was a jab, jab, right hook sort of pass. She let me know that she was disgusted by me messaging her, guys. I sent that back to the, the guy who asked me to do it, and I'm like, bro, you got a solid one on your hands, man. Good job. So the next case is very interesting because this particular girl was already following me. And I messaged her boyfriend, I was like, are you aware that your girl like follows me? And he said, yeah. So already I'm like, this is gonna be, <laughs> this is gonna be an easy case, man. In her bio, she put that somebody stalking or like hello stalker or whatever. So I led that as an intro. I told her nobody is stalking and I said the eyes emoji. She then said, excuse me? Oh, I get it. Well, clearly you were LOL. Sorry, but not sorry, your logic is flawed. So of course you're just being playful right now. I said, how long you been following me for? She said, I have no idea, why? I said, just curious, I noticed you're in Cambridge. I'll be visiting soon. Oh, nice, for any particular reason? I enjoy traveling and I host workshop events everywhere. Any fun things to do besides seeing you? She said, that sounds fun. I wasn't sure she meant me seeing her sounds fun or the fact that I just host workshops everywhere and events in different cities sounds fun. I took it as me seeing her sounds fun. She said, honestly, I've only been living here since September. I don't know much about Cambridge myself. Then I said, we can explore some things together and have a good time. What's your number? She said, I mean, I'm down for that, but we'll have to be as friends cause I'm not single. All right, so this threw me off guard a little bit, right? So she's entertained the conversation. We've had a bit of dialogue. She knows that I'm interested in her. However, she gives me like this sort of soft rejection, like, hey, I'm still willing to hang out with you, but just know I have a boyfriend, but we can be friends, but like if you slide in the right and use the right amount of game, maybe we can be more than friends, but just don't tell my boyfriend. That's the way I'm taking it right now. Then I said, we can play by ear. Nobody has to know anyway. 
but that's cool. She said, I'm not looking for hookups though, so please don't be expecting that. My number is blank and gave me the number. So this is a very interesting case, guys. It's like, she definitely fell, in my eyes, she fell. But at the same time, she was trying to like pass at the same time, like, hey, I'm letting you know clearly that, hey, I have a boyfriend, but you will still be an option for me if it leads to that point, I'm gonna leave you on the back burner. That's the way I took it. And so I sent that to her boyfriend and I was like, how do you feel about this, man? And then he said, I mean, she did mention she's not single as I can and said she wasn't looking for a hookup, so only as friends. So I guess her boyfriend, um, he sees it as a pass. She said y'all could be friends, so it's not bad. All right, man, we're just gonna be friends. She sent me the number. Hope you're okay with that. It sounds like you're okay with that. Handshake, good to go. Let me also mention that a few days later, she unsent her message sending me her number. I'm guessing her boyfriend addressed it to her or something happened that I didn't know about and she unsent the message. If you're enjoying this content, you're gonna be mind blown by my Patreon. As a supporter, you'll get access to now over 100 videos of in-depth insights, valuable tips, and juicy content that you won't find anywhere else. Becoming a Patreon is a great way to support me and my work, and it helps me to continue creating high quality content for you. So if you're looking for even more value and exclusive access, head over to my Patreon page and check it out. I'll leave a link down below. Now back to the video. Next one, I opened her and said, you look just like my high school crush. She said, you look like one of my art students then i said well that's an interesting scenario where's the class i'll join unfortunately i no longer teach then i said that just means i'll have to schedule a private lesson come on man i'm risen up in the dms man that's what it, you kids call it nowadays riz right she said i don't do private teachings due to my marriage situation then i said you're married so backtrack as she was telling me this, I sent a message to her boyfriend. I was like, are you guys married? And he told me no, but they are in a relationship, obviously. And so she lied to me about her being married, but at the same time is once again entertaining the conversation. And another thing too that this girl did, and a lot of girls do whenever I do this loyalty test, is that they'll screenshot my DM without replying first, send it to the boyfriend and make it seem like, hey, this random guy's DMing me, I'm not gonna reply though. And then the boyfriend be like, okay. But then in secret, she'll reply back to me and engage in conversation, guys. Do not get trapped, do not get fooled. I promise you that is what's happening. And stay to the end of the video where I'm gonna discuss some of the things I've learned while doing this particular loyalty test. Then she said, don't I look like someone married? I said, definitely not, especially since it's not to me. Risen up, once again. She said, well, you are very late. Maybe if you showed up earlier, it wouldn't be the same story. So clearly what she's suggesting here is that, hey, I'm interested in you. If you would have popped up a little bit earlier in my life, this would be a totally different scenario. However, I'm in this relationship now, we can be friends or whatever, if something goes bad with this, you're next. That's the whole theory about how girls know when somebody's next, guys. She has a plan B, she has a backup option, best believe. Then I said, well, if that current story ever changed, do you use Snapchat or anything, phone number? I'll be considerate. So I'm trying to like slide in, sneak in here. She said, um, my Snap doesn't allow me to add more people and I prefer IG. And then I never sent her a message after that. So this one's an interesting one overall most people would have said that she has failed because she entertained the conversation the first off and let me know that if i was early in her life it would be a different story but you guys let me know down below in the comments did she pass or did she fail once again i messaged with her boyfriend afterwards and he didn't seem too pressed by the situation if anything he was like oh she has a friendly personality this and that what should i do bro and I'm like, man, you clearly wanna stay with her, man. Just, just stay with her. But I let him know, if I was you, I would not be with a girl like that, man. I just simply wouldn't. Number five, let's get it. As you notice, I'm talking to myself, but it did not start that way, guys. We had a full conversation and she unsent all the messages. Her boyfriend told me to leverage the fact that she likes to travel and we were having an engaging conversation. As you see, I said, you should have more pics of yourself. That was my first message. And then she said something like, oh, why is that? And then I said, because after looking at your highlights, 
what area are you in? Then she said, Iowa. And I said, I've never been to Iowa, but I live in Florida. Which part are you considering? She told me. And then I said, I go between Tampa and Orlando. My family's in Tampa, so I'm there every other week. So she told me she was moving to Tampa or she's gonna take a move to Tampa. And then from there, we were suggesting how like we can meet up whenever we get there. And then I said, I'm gonna have to see you soon for real in that case. And then I said, I also enjoy traveling, been to so many countries this year, so it's rare that I sit still. You travel at all? And then from there, she left me on scene, then unsent her messages. Now I went back to her boyfriend. I was like, bro, like what happened? Cause I was telling him the whole time. Let's read his message, what happened. She failed, I rocked her one more time and she ain't never finna hear from me no more she's gonna be clueless when she wake up but keep up the good work man i'm gonna be up there with you soon then i said how'd you find out she unsent all the messages i was gonna send to you so in short words me and her was chilling and she was like this guy messaged me today and showed me you i acted clueless like ain't no way she then says we talked a little bit and i left him on red though and she did leave you on red however she sent another message to you to continue the conversation at 7 51 p.m but she tried to lie and hide that message from me what did i say just earlier in the video guys i told you this is a trick that a lot of women do they'll let you know if somebody messaged them and then secretly reply on the back end. The truth is, I never even saw that mess, her last message at 7.51 because I was busy, I was doing something. So I don't even know what she said. All I know is that she definitely tried to continue the conversation and he was not putting up with it. So, so props to him. I'm glad he was able to put his foot down and actually leave this particular woman. Because trust me, you do not want to be with a girl like that in any sort of means, guys. Now let's talk about what I've learned in this loyalty test. So here are some common themes of the girls who failed and number one is that they replied relatively fast. So I sent out a lot of messages, guys. There are lots of girls who passed who I didn't include the video, but the ones who failed, one common trend is that they just all replied to my first message really fast. I'm talking like within an hour or so. And then number two, they had little to no signs of their boyfriend on their page. So the ones who never replied to my DM or maybe replied, left me on read the first message, they always had pictures of their boyfriend on their page, but the girls who failed had maybe one or usually zero pictures of their boyfriend on their Instagram page. So just keep that in mind. I feel like that plays a part into why a lot of these girls replied because they knew that the way they presented themselves was that they weren't in a relationship. Then number three, a common trend is that if the guy was a black dude. Makes sense, right? Because if she if she's dating you, more than likely, chances are she'll probably be into a guy like me. So I noticed the, the black dudes who sent me the girlfriends, they had a way higher percent chance of failing versus like white guys or like middle eastern guys who sent me their girlfriend and stuff like that all right so hopefully with this video you're going into the new year strong thank you guys for watching subscribe if you're new if you want a loyalty test from me i'm gonna post a link down below to where you can order yours i actually do these all over the year check out the link down below i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace